Hey guys, welcome to my channel Tokyo Foodie Sarah. I have come to Oita Prefecture to enjoy the very famous Beppu Onsen. I hope you enjoy this video. In this mini traveling series, I want to be showing you Kyushu Island, specifically Oita and Fukuoka prefectures. The easiest way to get to Kyushu from Tokyo is to take an airplane. There's also the option of taking the bullet train, but it takes quite a long time from Tokyo, so I highly recommend you just take the plane. My first video of this series is going to be the city of Beppu, located in Oita prefecture. Beppu is a massive onsen or hot spring city. In fact, the city of Beppu produces the most amount of onsen in the whole of Japan. Before we head off to the onsen ryokan, I'm gonna take you around the city of Oita starting from its airport. Why? Because Oita airport delivers your luggage on a sushi conveyor belt. I lied. They have sushi on the baggage belt conveyor. How cute! It was interesting. The kids were excited too. After about an hour drive from the airport, I had lunch at this restaurant called Toyotsune, located within the Beppu city. It's a restaurant where you can enjoy seafood. They had an English menu. The first thing I want to do after arriving at Oita is to have some lunch, because I arrived here at like noon and I had to drive an hour to reach to this place which had a really good review. So this place is called Toyotsune and they serve some really good um, seafood rice bowls and like rice sets. So hopefully the hour drive is worth it. Let's see. So this is the Seki Aji Sashimi. It's from this region, not exactly like this region, but it's around um, the Kyushu region. And these are horse mackerel. These are called Toriten and Tori means chicken and Ten is for tempura. So it means chicken tempura and oops, oh my god. <laughs> Um, it's a speciality within the Oita prefecture. These are special because usually with chicken we make them into karaage, so it's kind of rare to have chicken in tempura form. So I got my Ryukyu Donburi. It has a bit of lettuce and it's got a lot of like seafood that's been marinated in the sauce. And we have some miso soup, yep, and some pickles. Yay! I'm gonna try out the seki aji, horse mackerel. Look, it's so translucent and it looks very, very fresh. Mm. That's very fresh and it even has like a hint of sweetness to it. It's very nice. And then onto the Toriten chicken tempura with some tartar sauce on it. Mm. Mm. Look! Mm -hmm. Oh, the chicken is so juicy. You know, my favorite types of tempura are like obviously shrimp, and also um, I like those like maitake mushroom tempura, but the chicken, it's like my top three now. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna have the Ryukyu Donburi. So apparently, the seafood has been marinated with like sesame sauce. Look, oh my god. I think let's go for tuna. I think that's tuna. So a bit of that with a bit of rice and the veg. Mm. Mm. The sesame sauce is so creamy and it's like it gives a whole different taste to the seafood donburi. It's very different but I love it. Mm. And look at all this saucy rice. Mm. Here came the sushi! And I'm gonna be having the horse mackerel one first. It's like loaded with wasabi, so I hope I'm okay with that. Let's go. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Okay, now we have the bonito! There's ginger on top and then there's wasabi on the inside. I can't see it, but yeah. Anyway. Mm. Wow, that bonito was so, so soft. I don't think I've ever had bonito that soft. I am now gonna have some flat fish and it's a speciality within this region. 
The flat fish was a bit different from the bonito because the bonito was very very soft, right? And the flat fish was quite chewy. Yeah, it's not fishy at all. The grated daikon at the top really gives it a lot of flavor and it was amazing. I always love stopping by at a local supermarket when I'm traveling. Kyushu is famous for ramen, so you'll see a lot of instant ramen in supermarkets. Beppu is one of the most popular onsen sites in Japan. Oita Prefecture ranks first by far in terms of hot spring number and water volume. 16% of hot springs in Japan are located here. The Jigoku, or Hells of Beppu, is probably the most popular tourist attractions. The steam coming out from these hot springs was named Hell since more than a thousand years ago. There are seven hot springs within the area. Just an FYI, the hot springs are for viewing rather than bathing, so please don't boil yourself in these hot springs. Wow. You have two options to go around the hells. One is that you can purchase a ticket for 2000 yen to go around all seven hells. Alternatively, you can pay 400 yen to get into each hell. I went for the latter because it was raining and I didn't have an umbrella. Plus, I only had an hour before everything closed, so there wasn't enough time for me to go around all seven hells. Oh yeah, you also have the option to go around the seven hells on a sightseeing bus. The first hell I went to is Umi Jigoku. Umi means sea, and the name came from the blue-coloured hot spring. This is the most popular hell out of all seven hells. So this sign over here says that these are water, not water, um, heat resistant water lilies. So that's why they're able to grow in such um, high temperature waters. Before you see the actual hot spring, you can look through the greenhouse where they grow a lot of tropical plants. Wow, see how big that leaf is. Oh my god. Whoa, it's massive. Here's the actual hot spring, and they have a few tori gates at the side. Look at all these steam coming out. Wow. The nature was also great. You can even enjoy some autumn red leaves, though it was interesting because I didn't go there in the autumn. You can also enjoy these nice flowers. Within Umijigoku, there was a small shop that was selling some food. So I ordered an onsen tamago and this egg has been cooked in the, the hot spring, the onsen. So I'm gonna crack it open. Oh. Yes! It's a bit cracked here, but let's not care. Um, they did give me a pack of salt, but I wanna try out their Kabosu salt. Kabosu is this citrus fruit that's famous in this um, Oita prefecture. So I'm gonna have this salt with the egg. Just a tiny bit. Ooh. I only got the yolk, not the yolk, the, the, the egg white. It's actually pretty creamy and it's very nice. Mm. It's more cooked than I thought. I thought it would be like half cooked, but it's like fully boiled egg. And now I'm gonna try out the yuzu salt. Yuzu is another type of citrus. Oh, this one is more fragrant. Mm. If you ever visit here, I definitely recommend getting the egg because it's a great snack. It's also full of protein. 
The second hell I went to was the Chinoike Jigoku, meaning Blood Pond Hell. I thought it would be interesting to see the difference between the blue Jigoku that I saw earlier. The hell was rather orange than bloody red, but it was still a large pond with an interesting colour. The two jigoku were very different and they were both very nice. The chinoike jigoku also had a very nice souvenir shop. Oh my god, they also sell Adidas jukes <laughs> of these like sticks that um, the devil carries around, wow. Now, time to head to the onsen, one that I can actually bathe in for some relaxing time and good food, of course. The ryokan I decided to stay is called Yutoriro Beppu. I read on the reviews that the food is great at this ryokan. Good food is the number one priority for when I'm picking a ryokan. Okay, so I'm gonna show you uh, the room. So here is the entrance where you have to take your shoes off. And then let's go through the bathroom first. No, let's go to the room first. So I'll zoom it out. That is our room. Oh my god, it's a nice tatami floor. Wow. And um, in this ryokan, you have to set your own futon. Oh, which is not here, but I'll find it somewhere. So these are like the jackets for yukata, Japanese like casual version of kimonos. Oh, they also have these little bags to go to the onsen. That's cool. And then here are some teapots for some green tea normally. Yep, green tea. Oh, they have nice cushions. And then here's like the chilling area. Oh, that's nice with a fridge and oh let's have a look out the window oh wow look at that garden wow that is so pretty and then okay let's go back so we have the tv there you get an aircon in the summer that's great so if we go through here there's the bathroom Yep. It's nice that you have two um, taps, that's good. And then the toilet, I believe, yes. Um, it looks very clean and new. Maybe it opens. No, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> I thought it opens automatically, but it doesn't. At this ryokan, you can choose your yukata from various designs. There's not that many ryokans that offer this service. Up to 155 centimeters. That's up to 162 centimeters, and I'm um, 164 centimeters, so I guess I'll go for the large. I went for this pastel colored yukata with a dark red belt. You can also choose some amenities at the lobby for you to take them back to your room. At this lounge, you can get unlimited coffee, and also unlimited shoju, Japanese spirit, and also unlimited kabosu juice. 
I wanted to get the kabosu drink, but I couldn't do it single-handed. Oh my god, they had foosball! The last time I've seen this was definitely back in the UK. I used to play this in the common room of my university accommodation when I was studying in the UK, though that was always covered in alcohol. Anyway, I went against my mom, Tokyo Foodie Mama. It was her first time playing foosball. Yeah. <laughs> 